Scoping reviews are a useful approach for evidence synthesis. We break down the process of beginning and completing a scoping review using JBI methodology. Consult with interest holders. Begin with, what do interest holders need? Best practice is to consult with interest holders throughout the scoping review process, from question development to dissemination. Decide approach. Is a scoping review appropriate? Conduct a scoping review if the aim is to identify the type of evidence available or knowledge gaps. You seek to clarify key concepts, definitions, characteristics or factors. You intend to examine how research is conducted. Build the right team. Establish a team of reviewers. Identify your librarian or information specialist. Access databases. Find methodology support. Develop protocol. A protocol reduces the risk of ad hoc decision making. Follow step-by-step -step guidance for developing a scoping review protocol in the JBI Manual for Evidence Synthesis. Register and or publish your protocol. Register your protocol with Figshare or Open Science Framework to keep the research process transparent and to reduce research waste. Or publish your protocol in any specialty journal. Conduct your scoping review. Follow step-by-step -step guidance to search, select, extract, analyse, present and summarise evidence. Report according to Prisma SCR and be sure to keep consulting with interest holders. Publish and disseminate your scoping review. You have completed your scoping review. Time to publish in JBI Evidence Synthesis or specialty journals and disseminate your work.